Hey everybody, Steve Goodman here with the Protected Trust Training Department and we are here at the Microsoft Partner Event of the Year, Inspire 2018. We're going to be talking to partners, we're going to be talking to the Microsoft experts, we're going to be doing it all. Come on, let's see what's happening. We're here at the Microsoft 365 Security booth and we're talking with Matt Sosman today about Microsoft Security. So what can you tell us about security management and what that means for small to mid-sized businesses? Yeah, absolutely. So security management is really managing all of our different security products under single tools. And so we start with a tool we call Secure Score, and this allows us to have uh, almost like a credit score for my security posture in Office 365. So using this, I can see where I sit and how I compare to my industry peers and other people that are in Office 365, and then it allows me to have recommendations from Microsoft on how to better increase my security posture that I could take. So as I take each action, it will then increase this number, which is a great way to get visibility in my security and my Office 365 tenant. We have some other tools that we're showing here in security management. Uh, this is the Windows Defender Security Center. And what this does is allows me to see the security posture of my Windows clients that are out there in the environment. Being able to see if they have any malware running on them or maybe susp suspicious behavior running on them as well. The other console here that we're showing is something called Cloud App Security. This is my personal favorite, and this allows me to have visibility over all the different types of transactions that are happening, not just in Office 365, but in third-party products as well. So Google Suite, um, Dropbox, Box, even AWS, I could see all of that right here in a single pane of glass. And then the last one here is the Office 365 Security Compliance Center. And so from here, I have complete control over everything from data loss prevention to data governance to managing those threats that are in my Office 365 tenant, even down to data privacy with GDPR and doing data subject requests. So this is kind of the breadth of tools we use here at Microsoft to help our customers manage their security posture and really have a better security experience. Matt, thank you so much. You bet. At our company, I'm the Teams expert, but now I'm talking to the Microsoft Teams expert. Yeah. First of all, let me just tell you, I'm responsible for rolling out Teams internally. Okay. So I'm responsible for getting everyone at Microsoft, all our 240,000 users, onto Teams. Um, so we're using Teams in a collaboration, but within the next six months, our plan is actually to um, get rid of Skype for Business and move everyone onto Teams. So let me walk you through the interface. It makes it really awesome. We've been talking how it's the hub for teamwork. So it allows you to bring everything into one place without leaving your desktop, right? Also your mobile phone, also online. That's what makes it so powerful. This is, a, I feel, one of the most powerful things with, with Teams is that you leverage your Office 365. You've got the SharePoint backend. So let me go into my demo site. I can click on this and I can open it in SharePoint, right? I mean, this makes it so powerful. I don't have to worry that it's there, but if I wanted to set up alerts and notifications, I can set it up here and then I would get inherit all of those wonderful security settings into my team site, into my team's channels. So that makes it really great in your teams. Um, you have the ability to get an email address. Love this. So Satya, I don't know if you saw the corner note this oh, morning. Yeah. So Satya talks about how he communicates, right? Mm -hmm. He has his open loop, which is the outlook. He considers his inner loop, which is Microsoft Teams, and then his outer loop, which is Yammer. Yes. So the way that we connect all three together, what we're doing is bringing in conversations from the open loop, from Outlook now, into the inner loop. So now, conversations that are happening in silos, maybe, mm -hmm. can get an email address and forwarded to and they get pulled into teams and the conversation continues in teams. Mm -hmm. So now you've expanded it in your inner loop and there's more people involved in the conversation. It makes it really powerful. Here at Microsoft Inspire we're showing off uh, our integration with Microsoft HoloLens, yes. uh, which is the Trimble hard hat for Microsoft HoloLens as well as some of our software which is Trimble Connect for HoloLens. Uh, the application that we're showing here today is called Trimble Connect for HoloLens mm -hmm. uh, and it's a mixed reality application aimed at on-site construction use. Um, so so just like all the tools that Trimble makes is a productivity tool, the whole idea around it is being able to bring the various stakeholders on a construction site together, so whether that's your structural engineers or your plumbers, your electricians, and 
bring them to, together, uh, take all of their three-dimensional data, and being able, being able to overlay it onto their construction site just for enhanced use. Microsoft Stream is basically a, a platform for securely hosting your enterprise videos and also securely sharing it within your organization. Uh, so this is a place where you'll upload videos such as you know your internal training videos, your um, CEO town hall recordings, so product announcements, marketing videos, etc. A couple of differentiating factors is that we provide AI on top of videos. Okay, so for example, now let's say I want to search for uh, a video that has uh, information about Ford, for example. Okay, so I'm going to just type Ford in here, and what you saw was in there is no mention of Ford in the title or description of the video. Right. This, what you're seeing here, is the transcript of the video. Oh. So we do a deep search inside of the video transcript uh -huh. and to find exactly where that word is mentioned, right? And now clicking on that transcript will actually take me to that place in the video where that word was mentioned. So what Stream does is every time you upload a video to Stream, we automatically generate the transcript of the video. And that's the transcript that you're seeing right here. Um, and that allows us to do the deep search that I just showed you. Right. The other really cool thing about Stream is the people tab. So what we do here is we actually use cognitive services um, APIs to detect faces within the video. So here we're actually telling you that these two faces appear and where in the video it appears. So for things like, you know, we watch a town hall that lasts for like three hours and you're like, I want to watch that specific point where this person came on stage and demoed something. Right. Um, and you can easily click on that point in the timeline and go, you know, exactly there. Joining me now is Brent Combust of One Commercial Partners and Brent, you know, I saw your uh, YouTube video that you did at Inspire last year, mm -hmm. or Inspire Ignite last year. Yeah. Um, and, and in that uh, video that you did, you talked a lot about transformation, company transformation. And so I go on site a lot, and whenever I talk to um, the company owners, they're all excited. They're revved up. They're ready for that transformation. But how do we convey that excitement that the owners have and that we have for the company to the end user who they've been at that computer for years, they don't want change, they want to go to their desk, have everything be the same. How do we get to that point? Well, I think the important part is to really understand how it's going to impact their role. As we use and embrace technology, we become more efficient in our jobs. And being an employee of Microsoft, which I am first, right, before anything else related to my job, I get the benefit of using the latest and greatest technology and throughout my 13 years at Microsoft, every time something new comes out, sure there's a learning curve for it, but I become more effective, I become better at my job, mm -hmm. and as it becomes more comfortable to me, it just becomes a normal part of, of life and how I work every single day, but it also brings new tangential benefits like becoming mobile and being right. able to do my job in different places that I couldn't do it before and not being tied just to my desk and being able to use multiple devices and having the experiences of collaboration that I just simply couldn't do now that I'm using things like Teams inside of Office 365. Yeah. Are you using a Surface? I am. I have a Surface Book, and I'm a power user of it. I've had uh, two Surface Pros before that, mm -hmm. and to be honest, I wouldn't use anything else now. Well, the other thing I love about it, too, is my experience goes from device to device to device. Mm -hmm. So I can be walking from meeting to meeting and have either my iPad or my iPhone and researching agendas or previous meeting notes or things like that that are on OneDrive or in OneNote. And then as I get to the meeting in our offices, we have not only our Surface Books, but we use the Surface Hub as well. Yes. And the way that we can collaborate is completely different now. And that's an evolution that's taken place in the last four or five years. And it's something that's made me more efficient, capable of doing more, and just being in more constant engagement with my team. And it, it, you're right about people using the technology and being more enticed or encouraged to come to work for you can be a competitive advantage, mm -hmm. especially as you're recruiting folks that are used to using technology and embracing it. They want what's cutting edge. And that yes. next generation that's starting to come into the workforce, they're demanding and requiring that now. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, speaking of collaboration, uh, teams, teams on Surface. We believe at our company that is the perfect solution to offer to our customers. Are you using Teams? 100%. So we've moved almost exclusively over to Teams. I'd say my email workload has probably been cut in half over the last year as we've moved over. We've also taken Skype and all the meetings that we used to do and the chat that we used to do, and we've moved it into Teams as well. I conduct my weekly team call inside of the uh, inside of the tool today. and. The quality of engagement on that is very, very rich. We use the video element of it as well, and my team's distributed across the country. I've got 30 people on my team. I'm the only one
one in Dallas. And so being able to see them face to face on the camera and real time collaborate using that, there's nothing else like yeah. it. The collaboration, the video, the perpetual chat, mm -hmm. that alone has changed the way that we work. Because usually it's you firing off an email and the monkey's on the other person's back, I'm gonna go head out. We're from Florida, I'm gonna go head out to the pool. That's right. right. With perpetual chat, you're always engaged, you're always up to date with what's happening, uh, and it just makes it so much easier to collaborate, as you were saying. Absolutely, and many people can be involved in the conversation at once. You don't forget about somebody that you missed on the thread. Instead, because they're part of the team, they're automatically engaged inside of it, and they can see the history of the dialogue that's right. gone on, and things just move faster as a result of it. But with Teams, you've got your documents, you've got notes, you've got a very rich yeah. experience that brings in all the best that Office 365 has to offer, and to one place. So it's an aggregation of everything that's great about Office 365 and one tool. Brent, thank you so much for taking time to answer our questions, talk a little bit how um, you know driving innovation, driving transformation is really the key to making a better business. Well, it's my pleasure. And thank you for your partnership. You guys do a lot of great work, and we're very glad to have you part of our ecosystem. Thank you. Thank you so much.